You had it at level 2? One of my characters had it at level 2? Did I miss it? Hold on. Which one? Aid, remove paralysis, lesser restoration, cure moderate. Hold on a sec. Can I? I want, let me try something here. Oh, I wanted to see if I could click on remove blindness. Um. Okay, where was I? Hmm. I'll bet if I temporarily had Salil join the party... I could load the spell, rest, and then have him do it, but right now... Yeah, next step is to check scrolls and potions. That's a bummer. One of those rare, rare things. Unless Druid has something that does it. Okay, well, for now, um, let's see. If I level up him. Mm, a new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello. Does he get any spell options? Let's find out. Mm, a new arrival. Welcome, new arrival. Hello. Might get extra channels. Wings! Plus three dodge to armor class against melee attacks and immune... Whoa, okay, that's tough to pass up freaking wings. Uh, Revelation. Whenever you cast Cure, you can do it as a swift action. No. Whenever you cast Cure, the master of your voice based on your oracle level, not level limited. Uh, that's good. Blind Sight. Life Sense. Uh, whenever you're healing spells, heal uh, a target to maximum health in the excess. Let's do enhance cures. Okay. We're looking for cure blindness. Don't know if this is the right tier, though. This might not be the right tier. Remove blindness is level 3. I think these are level two spells. Uh, that's charisma. Con. Which animal was it that's dex? Strength, con, charisma, owl's wisdom. Was there a dex animal? Is that fox's cunning? Why don't I see that? It's cat's grace. No, I don't see that. Okay. We'll get that. That can help with healing the undead party members. Uh, level 3 spell. Yes! Remove blindness. Woo! Alright, we're, we're getting that. When it says the spell is available too, does that mean they have it? They Like, they already have it? Or they just have it available to them eventually? I want to make sure I didn't overlook Noxie having this. They already have it. Noxie already had it. You're looking at remove Kurt. Wait, was I? Remove blindness. Oh, okay, neither of them are in the party. Thank you. I was mouse over the wrong thing. I'm glad you said that. Okay. Awesome. So then we've got this. What what's what's going on here? Uh poison orders wrath. Inflict critical, greater magic weapon. Noxie already has that. Death ward. 
This blocks like negative levels, right? I don't. Mm, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh my god, so many spells. Cleanse, cures, and the following adverse conditions. Oh wow, that is a lot. All right, I'm gonna hover on that option. What are the other choices? Pillar of life, life bubble. Sacred Nimbus. You attempt to slay a living creature. Spell resist. True seeing. Too many options. Uh, make a main hand melee weapon deadly to undead. Any undead creature with it dice equal to your listed cast level must succeed at a will save or be destroyed utterly if struck by this weapon. Ooh, Burst of Glory hits all allies. I like stuff that hits all teammates. Uh, true seeing is nice. What is true seeing? You confer upon the subject the ability to see things as they really are. The subject sees the exact locations of undead of creatures or objects under blur or displacement effects. Sees invisible creatures normally. Um, all right, I'll take your advice on that one. I, w I wouldn't have picked that, but I I'm gonna take what you said as advice. Okay, so Rules are made to be broken. Remove blindness. And Darren has wings now. All right, I think Voitech is also blind. Good time for a level up, huh, fellas? Okay, uh, I'm gonna quick save. And let's see what the ghost is. Is the ghost the reason that that guy went all berserk? He flayed me, flayed me alive like a rabbit. Oh, the pain, what did I do to him? So, that guy that, like, tried to rip my skin off, I guess he had done that to others as well. Smile. The world's not ending just yet. Okay. Uh, Drovier level up. And we get to choose a feat. Uh, precise shot is really good, considering we're shooting uh, arrows. For those that don't know, if you fire an arrow at an enemy and the enemy is fighting in melee with an ally of yours, you get minus four to hit because you're trying to not hit your ally. And so this uh, takes away that penalty. Oh, we just got a whole line of... Whoa! Mass bull strength. All animals, roid out. Summon huge elemental. Sirocco. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I beat some of the hardest levels on... Because I was playing Pathfinder Kingmaker on hard difficulty. And some of the hardest levels, I had to basically go Sirocco, 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 and get like a stack of them. They're like sandstorms. And then pull allies into them, or sorry, enemies into them, so that they would get ripped to shreds. And then I'd have to rest eight hours and do it on the next pull over and over and over. Because the difficulty was just busted. No mistakes. All right, so I'm going to have to prepare spells for this guy, or just load some up to be prepared next time. Um... Actually, let's do that. And... We'll do those two for now. For special occasions. Uh... Greater Magic Fang. Yeah, and get a, another one of those. Put it on Pocket Raptor. Okay, there we go. Okay. So then we got Sela. Who, getting ta Fighter Tower Shield Specialist again. And uh, again, I'm really happy with how we built her because you see when the whole party was feared, she was just dodging and blocking attacks for the longest time, even though she was basically like one on one -ing that mini boss that we just fought. And she was like, yeah, it's fine. Come back when you're ready. 
Elemental Fist. Pick one of the following energy types. Acid, cold, electric, or fire. On a successful hit, you deal damage normally, plus 1d6 of the chosen type. You must declare using this feat before you make your attack roll. Uh, a failed attack roll ruins the attempt. You may attempt an elemental attack fist once per day. Oh, once per day? Whatever. Uh, Pass learner. Fire the camera the gap. Proof critical. Uh, power strike. What is it? Ray, Ray shield. You must be using light, heavier tower shield. You add your shield bonus to touch armor class. We're going to block lasers, Jot. We are going to block lasers. Uh, I don't know who all here has played Dragon Age Inquisition. There was a scene in that um, where you were watching the Templars, which are like, they hunt mages. You were watching them train, and their, uh, their commander was yelling at them to tip, like, like take their shield and tilt it slightly Ooh, forward so that any time they get blasted with acid, that it would not splash up into their eyes. And I remember, I was like, that is so cool that they thought about that. Like, it was like the drill structure was like, tilt that shit forward, maggots, unless you want acid bouncing up into your eyes or something like that. And like, they were training about that. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I, would, I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is Nox. She just has to stay alive and cast buff magic, pretty much. Shake it off, it's not bad. Toughness, more hit points. Uh... Oh, precise shot. Eh, precise shot's not bad. She's firing into melee. Let's do that. Okay, choose spells. Hmm. Again, I like buffs more than stuff that can be resisted. Uh, there's Cat's Grace. We just got Mass Cat's Grace, though. Is there any of this I want? False Life is an hour level. It's not bad. Take that. And we get a level 3 spell as well. Battering Blast. You hurl a... F Wait, what was that? Hurl a fist-size bolt of force resembling a sphere of spikes to ram a designated creature. What? It's like a, a psychic morning star? You must succeed on a ranged touch attack to strike your target. On a successful hit, do 1d6 points of force damage per two levels. Maximum 5d6. Uh, for every five levels you possess beyond fifth, you gain an additional ball of force. A creature struck by any of these is subject to a bull rush attempt. Oh, it tries to knock him down. That's kind of cool. Heroism. Oh, we lost heroism, though, when we lost Lor Loranity. Gotta get that back. I want that back in my party. Okay. Oh, my God. Dude, this is such a heavy level. False life greater. Uh, Phantasmal Killer. Oh, I remember a room in Kingmaker I walked into and there was a trap that triggered Phantasmal Killer and it one-shot one of my party members. I was so upset. It, it, it tries to just instantly kill you. It's like, we'll save or die. Hmm. Volcanic Storm. Staff Ellie. Shadow Conjuration. What is this? This is too much to read. That's what that is. Protection from Energy Communal. Uh, we've already got that on two people. Probably don't need another one. False Life Greater lasts over an hour. Isn't it two will saves? Maybe, but I I know I know that I got popped by it once. I'll play that one. Oh my god, more! Uh, animal growth is powerful. What else do we have? Feeble mind, echolocation, genie kind, hungry, hungry pit, hungry pit. 
Phantasmal webs. Stones, communal stone skin is insanely good, but it's just very um, expensive. It didn't need like 10 diamond dust to use it. Okay, this lady, I, other than she pew pews, I don't know much about how she works. She has a lot of skills, though. Our goth girlfriend, as chat was calling her. Uh, let's see. What is Snapshot? When wielding a ranged weapon, you threaten squares within your melee reach. You can make AOOs with that ranged weapon. Oh, wow. You do not provoke attacks of opportunity when making ranged attacks as an attack of opportunity. Oh, that's pretty neat. Does she already have weapon focus longbow? Uh, I don't think she did. Hold on a second. I need to see. I need to confirm she was using a longbow. Composite longbow. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. In Dresden, there's a gem vetter. Maybe take a look at Vice Dinosaur Spell to raise your guys. That would probably be a good idea. I did not think to do that while I was there. There was diamonds for that and diamond dust for communal stone skin. Uh, yeah, I'll take snapshot for now. Special ability quarry. Denote one target within line of sight as this quarry. Receive a bonus to tackles made against the quarry and critical threats are automatically confirmed. I wonder if you could put that on autocast. The struggles never cease. I'll have to find out. Okay, and then two of the animals leveled up. Uh, let's see. Improve critical. Threat range is doubled. Got to be the claw. He does four claws per turn. And pocket raptor. Look at that smile. And what did I get on him before? Improved initiative, weapon focus, claw. So let's get improved critical claw. Okay, wow. All right, a lot happened there. I'm really eager to level uh, Lich up again, though. I, I want, I want my undead bard. I want the dude bard. Wait, is there not a path down there? It looked like there was. Let's check here. No, it's acting like that's the edge of the map. Area exit, area exit. Okay. Uh, we'll check up here. It looks like that mini boss we just fought was the main, uh, main attraction. Oh, here's something. Pure, uh, wait, was it? Skin leather cloak. Uh, whenever the wearer lands a hit on an enemy for the first time in a round, they must pass a fortitude saving throw or be partially skinned. Those who fail the save become staggered and take two points of constitution drain per round for 1d4 rounds. Holy Jesus. Whenever the wearer lands a hit on an enemy for the first time in a round. I will prove um... How about the guy that does five attacks around? Draining stats is serious. Oh yeah, I think if in pen and paper, if you have a stat hit zero, you die. Like wisdom or int at zero, is your brain dead? Uh, strength at zero, your heart doesn't have the strength to beat again. It just any stat to zero, you just die. So, yeah, it's it's very serious. Super ethereal. All right, we're in a quick save, and we're going to try to mess with this army and see what happens. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, this is intimidating. All right. This might be a bit much. All right, hold on. Has web. 
Nauseated, fatigued, stricken. That was really nice. We expected that. All right, so he can't move, so just bide your time. Bide your time. First hit, 144 of them dead. This guy can't move. So he just has to wait. This is a serious battle. I'm gonna use Siphon Time and haste my team and slow any of them in range. I don't think it actually hit any of them. These are cultists, right? Yeah, so they're evil, so... Smite them. Bop it. Twist it. Alright, web. That's fine. I'm so... Oh, is it because of the haste? I was sitting here like, why can my zombie move so much? I was really confused, and it's probably because of the haste, because zombies are really slow. Alright, I lost two clerics. One more, so it's three clerics down. Dude, I am so happy this guy is just sitting in the back and just going... And that's it. Keep webbing, man. Keep webbing. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm honestly wondering if I should even run into melee, or if it would be better just to hang back and just shoot him to death. Because if I run in, he might fight back in melee. And that would be worse. Oh, here he goes. Alright, six zombies dead. How is the mass combat system in this game? Uh, mass combat? Do you mean this right here? Like, this game mode's fun. But this is basically like Heroes of Might and Magic when you're controlling the whole army at once. Your skeletons will be able to have extra legs, though, the spider parts. Recycling. The Crusader army descended upon the cultist squad at the moment they were performing a demonic ritual. Their retrievers, horrendous mechanical spiders, mechanical spiders, who sought out and killed the demon's enemies, came to Galarian through the passage they had opened from the abyss. Fortunately, the ritual was interrupted at its climax. The soldiers found a magical relic that belonged to the cultist leader. A uh, stone of ghostly pathways. Okay, so I'm sure we'll get to do some kind of research with that. Actually, wait, go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, so that's a path only my little squad can go down, apparently. Um, hold on, let's, this is a little bit faster. Looking for anything else I need to take care of. Hey, Chip. There, out of that. Chip just stopped by. He's thinking about it. Let's see what's going on down here. Uh, cancel it. You know what? Let's have them stop. And do that. And let's have this army. I hate that when they pass another army, it stops the order. We're sending them over to reinforce the other one. Chip is awaiting pets. Ram. 
Random encounter. You have spotted enemies. Very sorry to bother you about a game you are currently playing. I was looking at your website for a specific guide. Couldn't find it. What is the must-do meta events for Guild Wars 2? Um, if you do exclamation money metas in my chat, the closest to what you're describing would be that video there. It's not exactly what you described, but that is the closest to it. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! No reason to focus on the goal. Thank you, Mark. Sure. Alright. I don't know what this thing is. We're gonna get Sigla in there first. I will resist. Oh, Abyssal Huntress in the back there. Okay. Let's get the bear in there. So he can attack of opportunity then when they swing their bows. Dude, Sela's doing like roundhouse kicks and stuff now. She's not doing any damage, but it's pretty fun to watch. Like, so you, you just take the weapon out of her hand and immediately she's like, this full plate mail is nothing. It's like spinning like a top. Oh. Uh, Shulk just leveled up. Mad Dog Barbarian. She has entire community gain on her hands doing roundhouse kicks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shulk. Blind fight. Critical focus. You receive a plus four circumstance on attack rolls to confirm critical hits. That's nice. Uh, if I did extra rage power, do I want any of this? I think it would be best to get the crit focus. Greater rage. Nice. Uh, if you ever feel like respect Shulk, Serpentine Blood Rager has a thing which gives an extra five feet melee reach, and it's basically it's still basically barbarian. Serpentine Blood Rager. Oh my gosh, we could make it twenty foot range. As it should be. Would she? Uh, it sounds like she would lose uh, Voitech though if we did that. Oh wait. Uh, oh, hold on. I get what you're saying. How many levels would it take in Blood Rager to get that? Do you know? Uh, when does he get heavy barding? Never. Might spend points on that. Okay, well, yeah, we'll get that. Do I have any heavy barding? I can just give him. That's light. No, I don't have any heavy right now. Not sure. All right. Yeah, I don't know much about Blood Rager, so that 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 is new information for me. Shade Creeper with the tier one. Thank you, buddy. Michael the Duck, this about to be Reginald Esquire the fourth, this is Johnson Vestibles the third. Welcomes yo, Shade Creeper back to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay. Entertainment is on the way. Crank it this week as Dutch as the Beakers giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Hmm. I'm waiting for it to say that I'm like really tired. And then I'm gonna swap back to the army for a sec. Skeletal Salesman. Okay, bulk selling. Get rid of the crud. Uh... Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to get a few diamonds to be able to cast Resurrect. I, I don't have the communal stone skin, so I'm not going to get that right now. Kinetic Diadem. Uh, I don't have Kineticist in my team. Ring doubles the threat range of Kinetic Blast. Again, not using that. Alright.
We'll play plus two. Okay, so I don't need to keep a low.